Well, I, I can't even uh, tell you how uh, proud I am of our, uh, our, our group tonight. Um, you know, the stat sheet is, uh, you, you know, things that just jump out at you, the 21 assists and 10 turnovers. Uh, you know, we had three kids that took charges tonight, uh, Sid Parrish being, you know, having two, Chloe having one, Yarden having one. Um, you know, we, we knew that we were going to, um, you know, it was going to be a tale of, of two really good teams, um, you know, going at it. Uh, we're on the road, so we uh, expected the hostile environment that, um, you know, was here tonight. And um, just really, really happy with how we handled ourselves, um, how we, um, you know, shared the ball, uh, how, we, how we answered the call when it felt like uh, Tennessee started making a run. Um, we came back. Uh, with either a run out. I thought our activity in our gaps, um, you know, was extra special tonight. Uh, made it really difficult. We tried to clog in our gaps. Uh, just, just tried to make it harder for them. We wanted, um, you know, Jackson to be a jump shooter tonight. And, um, and you know, we didn't do a great job on, on some of their shooters as well as we wanted to. But uh, at the end of the night, we did uh, enough. And, um, you know, the rebounding was going to be the key tonight. We, we out-rebounded them by two. Um, I don't care if that's one or two. We out-rebounded Tennessee, and that was uh, the most important key to the game tonight. Uh, Mackenzie, you were guarding Key most of the night. Um, she's got a little bit of height advantage on you. What was the strategy there, and how do you think that went? Yeah, I mean, I knew coming into the game that she was going to have that advantage, and I knew that I was just going to have to work that much harder. And, um, you know, I, I accepted that challenge, and I did what I could to stop her. She's a great player, and she's athletic, and she's long. Uh, so I just, I just tried my best to, you know, keep her out of the box, not give her angles, box her out, just try to do all the little things. Probably one of the toughest things to do on the road is withstand runs. You guys did a really nice job of that tonight, especially that one time you hit a three right after they hit a three. How, uh, how can you best describe how well you guys handled your composure and everything when they were making runs at you? Uh, Mackenzie, 80 or 16 in the fourth, when did you decide that you were going to kind of take over that game? I mean, uh, we just kind of took advantage of the matchups. Um, my teammates were finding me, and uh, I got some good looks. So I, I, I think that one thing I noticed when I look at the stat sheet is how even keeled our scoring is, you know, 16, 16, 15, 13, 13. We were sharing the ball, and we have a lot of unselfish girls in our team, and that means that a lot of people have the potential to score a lot of points in bunches, and that's what we did tonight. Um, in Mackenzie, you took uh, three three-pointers tonight um, after not attempting any of the last two games. Was that something you were actively looking for coming into this game uh, that you were searching out to try to do? Uh, I just kind of read what the defense was doing. Um, I think my, my coaches and my teammates have faith in me taking that shot. I work on it every day. So I was just reading the defense and taking those shots. Tennessee girl. Can you explain uh, what it was like just being out there and then, of course, your high school teammates bumping into you and even stepping away and not taking you down on that one little layup, but explain your, just what this night meant to you. Thank you. Good job, you guys. Go ahead. You got a coaching voice? Use it. You said the other day you felt like this was a good chance to learn something about your team. What do you think you learned tonight? Well, you know, I, I didn't question. Uh, I wasn't wondering how, how tough, but um, I guess I was wondering, you know, how, how, how tough of a group that we have um, because we do have so many new faces, although they're experienced. Um, you know, and I, I'm not playing the comparison game, but it's hard to find a kid as tough as Allie Patberg and a young lady as tough as Nicole Cardano-Hillary. And 
um, the monster that Alexa Gulbe was on the boards for us. And so I'm not trying to compare, but that's, you know, not only did we lose their skill set, we lost their moxie and their confidence and their toughness that, uh, you know, all three of those young ladies played play with. And, um, and so, you know, I thought Grace Berger just, again, she's our leader. Um, we're going to be a team that's 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 going to really just play off of Grace's toughness, and uh, there's not a greater competitor, um, not only on our team but in the country uh, when it comes to women's basketball. You know, a competitor, uh, but she's just so even keel, and, and her composure I thought was tremendous tonight, even when. Um, you know, the momentum shifted there a couple times, and we knew that that was going to happen. Uh, you know, we really looked hard, and I thought, I thought, um, you know, Grace did a great job of, of just making sure, you know, we were all good. Um, you know, we really challenged them about, you know, the rebounds, the, you know, we've been, we've been really talking about charges, so the fact that we're, you know, being able to take charges right now and uh, the toughness, I thought Sid Parrish came in off, the, off of the, the uh, bench and really gave us a great shot in the arm. Um, you know, just with her her um, activity and hustle and, and whatnot. And so I loved how we shared it tonight. The, the one teaching point, though, that we did talk about in the last, uh, in the fourth quarter and that in the, the last media timeout was time and score. Uh, you know, I ha we, are, we have the luxury of having kids that can shoot it beyond the arc and at a pretty high clip, although tonight we didn't shoot it great. But we have seen, and trust me when I tell you, I've been in practice enough with these guys to know what they can do. Um, but I just, I felt like our shot selection in the fourth, you know, but you got these shooters that are behind the arc. If they have any kind of space, you know, their confidence of taking those shots, you know, they're going to take them. But in, that, in, in those moments, that's a time and score situation where we really got to get that thing back out and run offense. We really needed to put pressure on Tennessee to have to guard us. So as, as proud as I am of this, there were uh, and will be um, after we watch the film, you know, teaching moments in that. Um, of us understanding um, what a good shot looks for us, you know, when you have the lead and how you can secure the lead and hold on to the lead uh, by just making better choices uh, with our, our shot selection. But we'll, we'll, we'll get that straightened out. Terry, if you could uh, just kind of follow up, too, on what I asked Chloe about withstanding all those runs, for one, but right. also, too, just how important was it in that first quarter uh, when you went on that 11-0 run, got ahead, and was able to play ahead? Right. It, uh, really important, but you know we knew uh, Tom this the Tennessee was not going away, you know, and um, um, you know we wanted to get off to a fast start, we wanted to get some points on the board, but we all ultimately knew that the game was going to be won uh, on the defensive end, and uh, our ability to rebound. Uh, our ability to make a lot of hustle plays tonight, you know, things that, that just don't show up in the stat sheet, um, you know, I believe are why we won. You know, our activity in our gaps was superb tonight, and it had to be because of their length, uh, their ability to, uh, you know, to, to, to challenge you away from the rim, uh, you know, with Jackson and even Powell, as quick as she is. I mean, our, our gap help, our activity level had to be uh, really special tonight. And... Um, you know, I was, you know, obviously very proud. But again, I go back to Grace Berger. You know, any time that they, they made those runs. And you got veteran kids out here with McKenzie. You know, Chloe's been in big moments with us as well. You know, Sid Parrish, obviously, you know, playing at Oregon. These are some veterans. Sarah Scalia, uh, you know, they know what, uh, you know, that, that, that this is the game, right? And there's going to be shifts. There's going to be mo momentum changes. Um, and I, I just feel like we have a group, you know, going back to what you th – that understands that. Um, and um, you know, I, I thought that they played with great discipline, you know, throughout. 21 assists and 10 turnovers. You know, great night for us. Anything else you want to add? Those are easy. Thank you.